Well, hello, everyone. I'm excited to bring um, a word for you right now that I think is going to be exciting. In fact, I, I believe that there's going to be spiritual breakthrough and there's going to be a reversing of curses. There is going to be a demolishing of the enemy's attack and any kind of pressure that he's had against you. And so we're going to have some intercession, but I, I just want to decree a breakthrough for you. So share this message with anyone that you know that needs a breakthrough because we're going to put our faith together and we're just going to go for it. This is Purim. Um, at the time of this actual broadcast, I, I'm here, um, Mountain Time in Arizona, and we're going to be uh, hitting Purim really soon. It's usually, you know, officially begins around six o'clock and then goes, um, goes for, um, you know, through uh, all the way through Friday. And so it's going, going to be exciting. But some of you have already begun. If you're on the East Coast, for example, you've all, you are already in Purim. And so we're going to talk a little bit about Purim um, out of the book of Esther. But I'm excited because I can just feel breakthrough in the air. I can feel breakthrough for you. And so we're going to believe for uh, great things to take place in your life. So make sure that you push the share button so that people who are needing a breakthrough, it could be in health, it could be in finance, it could be the spiritual battle against their life. Um, and they need uh, the Lord to break through for them, um, just let them know because we're going to just be making decrees of breakthrough um, over, over your lives. And um, I just want to share too is that in uh, John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He made it clear that we have a real enemy, the devil. He's an invisible enemy, but he... Um, he manifests in the natural and he'll bring pressures. He'll bring opposition. He'll bring destruction. He'll bring trouble. He'll just assault good people for no good reason. It's just the, it's just his makeup. It's who he is. He's evil to the core and he hates those, especially those who love the Lord. And so he's been running rampant. I know that there's been division in families, division in the church. There's been all kinds of painful things happen. There's been death. There's been sickness. There's been all kinds of stuff. And we're going to see that, that reverse. Now, in light of Purim, um, which is a, a feast in the Bible, the Feast of Purim, it's found in Esther uh, chapter 9, starting at verse 20. It was actually a celebration because... Haman hung himself. <laughs> Haman had this plan to destroy Israel, to destroy God's people. And he was clever in it. And he was intentional in it. Does that sound familiar to some things that are happening in our day? The enemy is trying to take out nations. He's trying to uh, turn things around for evil. Uh, when God has every intention to to see good and to release good. And so we've seen this plan of the enemy and where he has, he has been nagging and he has been setting up things with intentionality, just kind of like what Haman did to God's people in Esther's day. But God had a plan. And God's plan was that all of Haman's agenda was going to turn against him and it would turn around and bring a great victory in the Lord, a great victory, one that we celebrate to this day. And that is exactly what happened because God gave Esther wisdom and grace and favor. And you know, she was just this little orphan girl who had been uh, raised by her uncle, who was a very wise, God-fearing man, Mordecai. And um, just like, she was just obedient to the Lord. She said, yes to the call of God on, on her life. And she used discretion and honor and love and obedience. She was very, very wise the way that she um, moved in obedience to what God was showing her. And through that, everything turned around. And this is a day and hour when we need a lot of wisdom, wisdom from above that is first pure and is gentle it's reasonable it's 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 easily entreated it's full of mercy and good fruits but this precious esther uh, was used by the lord and mordecai also i mean there was many people uh in uh, walking in obedience 
and she used to turn the whole thing around and God breathed on everything and Haman hung himself and God's people were free. But not only were they free from destruction, they were actually given this amazing, um, amazing victory. And it says in uh, Esther chapter nine, verse five, um, it says, indeed, uh, let, let's see, um, uh, it, it, it says the Jews themselves gained the mastery over those who hated them. So the whole thing flipped and we can believe for things to flip. You can believe for things to flip in your life and that you can have mastery over what the devil's plans are. And that goes for this nation too. We need to stand for what God wants. And I appreciate uh, people standing in faith for, for your nations and for this nation that we're living in to stand in faith believing for breakthrough god can do um anything we're going to walk in his wisdom in that because it says the jews themselves gained the mastery over those who hated them and then and then it says the uh, jews struck all their enemies with the sword killing and destroying and they did what pleased those who hated them just amazing and then, of course, you know, Haman was hung. And, and then the Feast of Purim was, was instituted. And it was a great celebration because the curse was reversed. And the Lord says over you, if, there, if you are living under a curse in your life, and a curse is where it's the opposite of blessing. If you're living the opposite of blessing in your life, there is a, 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 a turnaround for you. And it said that... Um, because on those days, the Jews uh, rid themselves of their enemies. And it was a month which was turned for them from sorrow into gladness and from mourning into a holy day. That they should make them days of feasting and rejoicing and sending portions of food to one another and gifts to the poor. Isn't that awesome? It is just so, so amazing what God did. And of course, you know, the, the authority that was given to Esther to make a decree in the name of the king that would not be revoked. She had just an open slate to just decree the will of God. And God is inviting you to do that in your own life. The enemy was defeated 2,000 years ago. You know, the enemy has been hung, okay? And God wants you to take that truth and whatever you're facing in your life, if you're facing financial pressure and where the enemies come in and really done a number on your finance, this is the time to see things turn around because the enemy is going to hang himself. The curse is reversed and it's going to go from curse into blessing. Amen. Same with health. Believe for that breakthrough. This is a breakthrough day. This is a breakthrough hour. We're, we're living in the celebration of what Jesus did to take care of the principalities, the powers, the enemy, so that we could live in freedom. And so he wants us to hold, hold on to that, whatever you're facing. If you're facing conflict in relationships, if you're facing depression, maybe suicidal thoughts. Many people have been tempted by suicide in this day. We're just going to put it back on the devil, return it back to him. I think many people are fighting depression in this hour. I remember when I used to fight depression, but I also remember when I got set free. I remember the day I got set free and the Lord showed me a vision. And in the vision, there was this postman bringing a package to my door that had my name on it. And on the package, it said contents, depression, and, and the sender on the return address uh, 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 part of the envelope, it said Lucifer, Lucifer. And so I just wrote on the package, return to sender and close the door on the delivery of that package. And that's what God wants you to do. Return it to, to, to the enemy, return upon him what he's trying to throw against you one of the scriptures that god's been leading me to a lot lately and it's one that that i actually received from the lord as a brand new christian it was one of those rhema words and so i use it a lot in my um 
in my uh, uh, decrees, but it's out of Isaiah 54. It says, no weapon formed against you prospers. No weapon that will form against you will prosper. But before that, it says, um, I have created the destroyer to ruin. Now, the enemy comes to what? Steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God's raised up his destroyer, Jesus, to smash to smithereens the works of the enemy. And God has destroying angels to war against the enemy in your life. And you can, you can lay hold of that. Get aggressive. Don't let the, don't let the devil hold, hold you down. Don't let the devil do a number on you, but fight him. Just, just stop him dead in his tracks because he has no right if you are in Christ. So I'm going to pray for you now. I hope your faith is built because you're going to go into celebration. That's what Purim is all about. It's a celebration of breakthrough. It's a celebration that the devil lost. It's a celebration that that the curse has been reversed. And so we're going to break those curses right now. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I just break the power of any curse that's upon your people. I speak breakthrough in Jesus' name. I thank you that the devil has hung himself, that everything's turning around so that he gets what he's been trying to dish out and that your people become free, Lord God. And I release financial blessing to your people. I speak an open heaven over your people's lives. I speak health. I speak strength. I speak vitality. I break the power of depression. I break the power of oppression. I break the power of suicidal thoughts and temptations in Jesus' name. We render them powerless and ineffective. We break the power of any assignment of death that is resting on anyone. We speak forth resurrection power, and we declare that today is a turnaround day. This is a turnaround day for your people. It's a day of victory. It's a day of gladness. It's a day to celebrate the victory that you have wrought for us. And Lord, we just break the power of division in the body of Christ. We break the power of, of any hatred or anger or slander, all the stuff that's been going on out there. That is the devil's tactic. And we reverse it on him that his team, that his camp is divided against itself. But we, the church, we stand in your truth, in your righteousness, and in your glory, loving each other well and loving you well, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord that we are set free in you, that the curse has been reversed. This is a day of turnaround. This is a time of celebration. It's a turnaround day, a turnaround day. Now, I want you to, to share with me, maybe um, in the comment section later or whatever, when you experience your turnaround, or you can write info at patriciaking.com. This is a time for us to celebrate the victories of God. This is not a time to let the devil beat you up. It's a time to say, just a minute, I'm not going to be backed into no corner. I'm rising up and I'm going to push against your plan because my God is going to cause the enemy to hang himself. The very plans that he had against you are going to be turned against him in Jesus' name. And God's love will fill you and his liberty will fill you. He will bless you. Oh, I'm so excited. Believe for turnaround. Turnarounds in marriage. Turnarounds with your children. Turnarounds with any, any area of your life where you need a turnaround. I just decree that turnaround. I decree your freedom because this is a time of celebrating great victory. Receive the victory. And you might want to just phone some friends tonight or tomorrow and say, hey, let's celebrate together. Let's, let's, let's rejoice together. Let's enjoy one another in new ways. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's have a revival party. Let's, let's celebrate his victory. And I just want to encourage you to, to, to just gaze upon the one who set you free. And the devil's hung himself. And so that assault against your life is falling to the ground. It's a new day. But you see, you have to believe that. Jesus said, when you pray, believe that you receive and it shall be granted. So when the Lord's speaking to your heart about your breakthrough, take that breakthrough and say, yes, Lord, I receive this. I believe you for it. I receive my breakthrough. And I believe that it's coming. And also, this is a time to give gifts. 
at Purim and the celebration, it says right in the word, there was a time of giving gifts, celebrating and giving gifts and especially to the poor. So I want to encourage you into gift giving during this time as well. And I know that as a ministry, we are, we are writing checks right now to be a blessing, to be a blessing in the body. And, and right now, right actually today, we are making an offer on a house and I'd like to give you an opportunity to give. We have, it's a house of hope, a house of hope that we are uh, wanting to secure. There are many people in the in the nation today who have been uh, hurting financially in that and and we know especially of uh, women that's what i feel called to to really be a blessing to uh, women who are struggling um, it could be that um, they are they are on their own they might be widows they could be um, between seasons where they were out of work or whatever and they don't have a lot of income and we want to prepare a home a home that is full of love a home that is full of blessing almost like a, a very a small boarding house where we could put uh, women and 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 really help them in this time and so we're actually putting an offer on a house today um, over the next month or so we are hoping to get into the house of hope that we are believing for and we want to just furnish it beautifully and really be a blessing to those in need and we actually know ministry families also um, that are that are in between um, situations that we want to be able to help and so if you want to um, help during this time of Purim and give into that vision um, this is my 40th year of ministry and it's my 70th year um, of, of, of life. I'm turning 70 in June and 40, 40 years of ministry at the same time. And so I was saying, Lord, I don't need any gifts. I, I'm so blessed. I don't need anything more in life. I am, I am overwhelmed with the goodness of the Lord. And we love living quite humbly and we're just happy with everything that God has given to us. So I don't need anything. But I said, Lord, I want to give you a gift and I want to give others a gift. And that's what this, this house of hope is. It's like what I'm believing for, for my birthday present. So we already have um, 150,000 that we've saved up in order to um, put into this house project, but we are going to need about 175,000 more. And I believe that that we can just go in and pay cash for this. So I just want to encourage you that on our website, if you feel led, um, no pressure or anything, but if you feel led, there is a, um, on our donation page, if you go to patriciaking.com and click on the donate button at the top there, um, there is a place where you can give to the house of hope and so just want to encourage you that if you want to um, give gifts in this time of, of Purim and maybe even so into your own breakthrough that that would be a worthwhile project because for years and years and years that gift will keep on giving as we help those in need as those that need a new beginning those that, that need um, you know through the transition in their life a place to get established and then be able to move on from there into beautiful places in the Lord. So I'm excited about everything that God's going to do for you, for all of his people. We're believing for breakthrough for the nation as well. And uh, whatever nation you belong to, we're going to believe that whatever plans the enemy has for a nation, they're going to, they're just going to be demonic plants that are going to turn against the enemy himself and the people will be free because God is a God of love. Amen. So God bless you during this amazing feast of Purim. And may you really enjoy feasting on God's goodness for you and your house and all that pertains to you. And we at Patricia King Ministries are praying for you. Thank you for your willingness to be able to sow into the ministry at this time. We really appreciate it because we're going to go after this house of hope and we're believing uh, for uh, great things to take place through it. So just go to patriciaking.com if you feel led to sow into that. God bless you.